knowing ourselves very deeply is the key to having a successful life. And in knowing ourselves, we have to also know and understand the beliefs that we have resonating within us. Know and understand what is vibrating inside you at a subconscious level. This is the fundamental resonance of who you are. It is your vibration. It is your foundation. It is the cause of what is happening to you. Everything that we think, both consciously and subconsciously, is having an effect in our life. And with this desire to know ourselves very deeply, we begin to observe ourselves. In observing ourselves, we look at our life and what is happening to us, both without in the outer world of reality and within. We look at our life without judgment because we want to know ourselves deeply. And when we look within, one of the things that we're confronted with immediately is the great trickster. But what is often not realized is that what the great trickster is, is an aspect of our subconscious mind. Now I've said that there are two main functions of the subconscious. The one function is to give us guidance and insight, to allow us to receive from higher levels of awareness, insights, truth, guidance. And the other aspect of the subconscious is a manifestation that we can go into our subconscious and imprint any thought, any idea, any belief that we wish to have resonating inside us. Now, what has happened in our life is that our subconscious is like a storage room in the basement, stuffed with all types of things that we've forgotten about. It is the shadow, hurts, failures, disappointments, paths not taken, shame, and a host of other undesirable phenomena all reside within. And so what the great trickster does is it feeds us these little thoughts, often without us even realizing that we're hearing them. You're not going to get it. You're never going to have it. You're not going to heal yourself. And in knowing ourselves, what we understand is these are quite often reflections of old beliefs that are just vibrating inside us. It's time for a spring cleaning. So we look within at the great trickster. We also look at the problem areas of our life. Quite often what will happen to us in our life is you will find many areas of your life are working well, and then there might be one or two areas that are not working so well. We have relationships, we have our career, we have our financial objectives, we have our health, we have our spirituality, we have our love, we have our self-appreciation or self-criticism. And in all aspects of our life, it is a reflection of us. It is a reflection of what is going on inside us. In any area of your life where you're having problems and difficulties, you can be assured that this has to do with having a negative belief on that aspect of your life. And this negative belief resonating on a subconscious level can be sabotaging your success. The other area to observe is reoccurring patterns. Anytime that you have reoccurring patterns in your life, this is almost always, again, reflections of something within the subconscious. Life is a reflection of you. Life is a perfect reflection. 